Okay. So from yesterday, does anybody have any questions with the assignment? No, sorry. Nothing was difficult. Nothing was tricky. Not one bit. <laughs> Okay, now what I need you to do is today is section 10 2. All right, head your paper, page 710, 1 through 41, and 45 through 50. Now again, most of the stuff with circles is relatively easy. Right. All right. All right, so question number one. Now, remember the degrees of a circle. If you make one revolution, yeah, there are 360 degrees in a circle. All right, so now all we're doing is we're breaking down the circle into its parts, and we're finding the missing uh, degree measure. All right, and question number one. So I have x is equal to 170 degrees. Anybody object to that? Right? Come on, let's get it done. Anybody have any questions? Again, remember the sum of the angles have to add up to 360 degrees. So with that in mind, all right, over here what they're trying to um, demonstrate is that if this is 35 degrees, then this would have to be 35 degrees. All right? So question number two, x is equal to what? X is equal to 150. All right, let's take a look now at question number three, see if it continues to be this easy. All right, now, um, HK and IG are diameters of circle L. Identify each arc as major, minor, or semicircle. All right, so let's talk about a minor arc first. What do you think a minor arc would mean? Less than 180. Less than 180. That is exactly correct. A semicircle would probably mean that it is 180. And then major arc would just be... Yeah, greater than 180. All right, pretty straightforward. All right, so now I want to talk to you about how they identify, for example, question M, or I'm sorry, question three. M is talking about the measure. All right, the measure of arc I, H, J. So the reason why we just don't call it arc I, J is because it could be referencing that. Does everybody see this? Right, but because they call it IHJ, that is your clue that you're going all the way around the outside of the circle. All right, generally a semicircle or a major arc is written with three letters. All right, it's written with three letters. All right, so in this case, the measure of IHJ would be obviously now what? 270, thank you. I told you, it's really simple. 270 degrees. <clears throat> All right? Now, um, that would be considered a what? Major. Major arc. Now, HI would obviously be what? A minor arc. And number five, H, G, K, semicircle. That is correct. Now, 
you can't just say HK because it could be what? The top or the bottom. Does everybody see what I'm saying on that? Mm -hmm. Right, because the arcs actually are different. They're not a different length. Let me just make sure I'm clear on that. If I'm interested in HK, you can't just say HK because HK could be that direction or it could be what? It could be the other direction down here. So that's why you have to name a semicircle generally with three uh, points, all right? And a major arc with three points as well. All right, I told you, it's, it's very easy. All right, so let's continue on. I don't think it's a big deal. The graph shows the results of the survey taken by diners relating uh, what is most important about the restaurants where they eat. Now, we are interested in the measure of AB, all right? Now, remember, re measure is referring to an angle measure. So if we're looking at AB, all right, let's try to find AB. I think this is AB, correct? All right. Now, that represents what? That represents 22%, all right? And um, yes, so that is simply going to be 0.22 times 360. It's actually 79.2, right? Now, measure of BC, all right, and BC is just what? 8%, correct? And so now it's just 0 0.08 times. 360, and we go ahead and say that's what? 28.8 degrees. All right, now it says describe the type of arc that the category great food represents. Major arc. Yep, so that would just be major. <coughs> All right, now let's look down here. It says, QS is a diameter, find each measure. All right, now when I'm having to find each measure, sometimes I find it easier to just go ahead and find all the missing angles and then answer the question. All right, so it says, QS is a diameter. So because QS is a diameter, then I know that's 9 degrees, which forces this to be 9 degrees. All right. And so I want to find QP, so that angle would just be what? I think it's 33 degrees. Yeah. All right. Now, once you come up with 33 degrees, now in my opinion, it's easier just to answer the questions. So if we're now going to start and go from S, T, P, then obviously that would just be what? 147 degrees. Now let's try to find QRT. Right? So it'd be 180 plus 75, which is what? 255 degrees. And now let's look at PQR. <laughs> All right, now remember, to keep it up, it's it's very simple. All right, low stress. Just make sure you understand the rules. Very easy. Yes. Okay, so let's look at 147. So we're doing STP, right? So this is what we're looking for, right? That's all right. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Now, length, this is the only thing that's a little bit hard. We're not talking about, there's a difference between length and measure, correct? So measure would be measuring in degrees. A length would be actually how far is it? It would be in feet or miles or yards or inches, all right? So I want to figure out what 
JK is. And I want someone to try to tell me what they think. I want you to think about it for a second. Then I want you to tell me what JK is. Um, so yeah, the circumference. Exactly correct. What's the circumference? Uh, four, five. Exactly. Now look, I never understood why anybody has any trouble with this. If you listen right now, it's easy from now on. If you're not hearing me, for some reason, some kids don't quite get the connection here. It's the easiest thing. All right? The circumference is 4 pi. We are taking what? And then, uh, you're getting 30, which is 12% of 360. I know what you mean. Not 12%, but it's 112. One, I mean 112 of the... Of the... Well, of the... Um, that's exactly correct, guys. It's really simple. The book uses some formula. I'm not, I don't need, I tell kids all the time, I don't even have to tell you the formula. You shouldn't have to know the formula. Right? Does everybody understand? If I walk all the way around, I walk 360 degrees, right? But this time, instead of walking 360, I only walked what? 30. I walked 30 out of how many? 360. All right? So I've really only walked, what, one-twelfth of the circle, which means the distance traveled. So JK is equal to pi over three, and then it would be feet. <clears throat> now it says round to the nearest hundredth, but again, I don't, you know, I don't really care. If it works out nicely, it works out nicely. All right, what? Where'd you get the three? Is it just four? Over 12 yeah. reduces to what? Okay. There you go. That's it. It's how simple. The fractions. Everybody agree with that? All right. So mathematically, for question number 11, again, JK is how many? How many degrees? <clears throat> so I would like for you to just to say, obviously, arc JK is equal to 15 pi times 105 out of what? 360. So now on your calculator, do 15 times 105 divided by 360. Math, enter, enter. That's the answer that I want. I don't want it rounded. <coughs> Somebody tell me. Thirty-five. 35 pi over 8. Don't take his word for it. I need some help. Is that right? 35 pi over 8. You use your calculator. 15 times 105 divided by 360. Come on, come on. There's nothing to it. Nothing to it at all. What? Casey? Um, 15 times 105 divided by 360. <laughs> Thank you, Siri. What? what do you, I have it right here. Do you not see it? 35 pi over 8. I don't know what you mean. Move it over. So here's what you're asking me. Seriously, here's what I want you to think about. If I said to you X, Y, Z... And then I wrote it Z, Y, X. Are you with me? It doesn't matter what order. <coughs> 15 times 105 divided by 360. What's a... I don't know what. I'm, I'm trying to. No, because we're leaving our answer in terms of pi. Right? We're leaving our answer in terms of pi. Anybody have any questions with that? <clears throat> Nobody have any issues? All right, so again, um, it says on your direction, sometimes it will say round to the nearest hundredth. I, I don't care about rounding. All right, I want you to leave the exact answer. That's generally the way we write things. All right? Now, just to make sure we are clear, I want to go down to some of the harder problems just to make sure. 
Let's go down to 45 through 50. Let's see if those are any harder. Okay. Now, again, they're asking for the circumference given that the arc is 7.94. Is everybody with me so far? Everybody see that? Now, let's think about this for just a quick second because I always try to tell kids there's just a really easy way, but I need you to think this way first. The circumference times n out of 360 is equal to the arc. Hold up. I'm not asking you to write that down. I'm just asking you to think about what I just said. And isn't that what we just did a second ago? Anybody have any questions with that? What? N, what do you think N is? Shh, let her think. What do you think N is? Come on. This out of, we just did a problem. This is what you're asking me about, N. So what is, what do you think 360 is? So what do you think N is? There you go. It's the fractional part of 360. And again, what I'm trying to show you is even if you're not sure, you have this little thing that you can work backwards from. All right, I'm not asking you to memorize that formula. That formula, you should just go, that is obvious. I don't need to think about that. Is everybody good? All right. Now, they're asking me about the circumference, correct? All right, so if they're asking me about the circumference, the circumference times 70 out of 360 is equal to the arc length, which is 7.94. Somebody have any issues with that? I'm not asking you to do it on the calculator yet. I'm asking you to pay attention, look at the numbers, look what I'm doing. That's the most important thing. I don't care what the answer is. I'm asking you to look and make sure that you understand what I did with the numbers. Anybody have any questions with that? <clears throat> Right? Now, I'm interested in the circumference, correct? So if you're interested in the circumference, all I have to do is take 7.94 and do what? Multiply by? by no. Oh, multiply by 360 over 7. Right? So the circumference, <clears throat> the circumference is equal to 7.94 times 360 divided by 70. Now, once again, I shouldn't have to say that. That's what I'm trying to make sure. And I keep trying to tell you, if it doesn't make sense, I want to know. To me, no one had to explain that to me. No one. It's just, to me, so obvious. And that's what I'm trying to get you to understand. It's just obvious. And if you don't see why it's obvious, I'm going to try to make it obvious. What? I'm multiplying by the reciprocal. Look, I'm trying to find C. Do you agree with me? Yeah. And since I'm trying to find C, I have to isolate C. So that means I have to get rid of that. And that's just multiplying by a fraction. To solve an equation, you're just multiplying by the reciprocal. Somebody else? Anybody have any other questions with that? And again, I don't care what the answer is. Just type it in on your calculator. You can get a, a strange decimal on that. I'm not arguing with you. Yeah, a strange decimal is fine. All right, here's one where, <clears throat> where it does say round to the nearest hundredth. Now, why is rounding the nearest hundredth important? Because the pi has already been introduced into the uh, equation. I'm not sure you understand what I just said, but you understand what I mean, right? Okay, good. All right. Now, again, just to make sure, let's take a look at uh, 48, 49, 50. Let's see where, that, see where we are on that. All right, it says that angle HCG is 2X. I'm going to find that real quick. And I'm going to mark it. Here we go. There's 2X right there. Which just means that this right here has to be what? 2X. Now, can anybody tell me, look up, see how smart you are. 
What does this angle right here have to be? Come on. Yay, very, very smart, very smart. That angle is 90 minus 2x. Very good. Now, I'm not even sure we have to use that, but that's just something you should know. All right, and then the other angle here, for those of you guys who are listening, this angle right here would have to be what? Yes, thank you. 180 minus 2x. Please look at that and make sure you understand that. All right. It's easy to understand the numbers. It's harder to understand when there's variables involved. So you have to practice that. Speak up now if you don't understand where I got the 2x from, or the 90 minus 2x or the 180 minus 2x. Everybody good? All right, now let's try to answer the questions. All right. Now, what, what's, what's one way that I can figure uh, HCD, I didn't even see that. HCD is what? 6x plus 28. So you should be able to write an equation out pretty easily, I think. What can you write? 6x plus 28. That's exactly correct. You could also write 6x plus 28 plus 2x equals 180. Do you agree with that? Yes, ma'am. All right, it doesn't matter how you see it. All right. So you have to solve for x. You have to solve for x. All right? And I want someone to tell me what that answer is. Somebody said about 1.3. Come on. Somebody help me. I'm not saying you're wrong. <clears throat> Anybody else get 38? No, for X in question 48, 49, and 50. Before you find the other parts, you have to tell me what X equals. Somebody got 19? 19? All right, so let's just double check. So 6X plus 28 equals 180 minus 2X. So is that right? 8X is equal to, what is that, 152? Yes, sir. And then X is equal to... 19 is what I got. So x is equal to 19. So let's go back and fix that. So now we know x is equal to 19. Yep. And now since we label them, it's just easy. Plug in the numbers. All right, to fix that. All right, now um, really what I would really prefer you guys do, I I'm looking through here trying to find something that's hard, and I don't see anything that's difficult. I don't see anything difficult at all. Sorry, anybody have any questions? Yes, sir. Good. Here you go. Page 710, 1 through 41, 45 through 50. Yes. Can you go back to Yes, I'll do 11 for you. I don't think I posted the solution yet. Did I? Okay, thank you very much. I want you to take out your calculator for me, and I want you to go 15 times 105 divided by 360. Math, enter, enter. So what'd you come up with? You understand what I'm saying now, right? Okay, good. Anybody else have any good for you? How do I do that? It comes with a <laughs> Math, enter, enter. Remember, the math on your calculator can convert it to a fraction. Math, enter, enter. All right, it'll take any decimal, as long as it's rational, and convert it to a fraction. That's why I'm saying it's important to understand how to use your calculators, guys. Anybody have any other issues? All right, again, thank you very much because I did post the solutions. Please check your work. All right, I have another question. Uh, can you just run over how to do 12 quickly? 12 quickly. Here we go. 
So look right here. How many degrees are in a circle? That's it. I know. Don't worry. Yep, 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 yep. 48. Here we go. Because we can't, like, write on. I know it's annoying. Isn't it? That's the one thing that's nice about it, mm -hmm. about using the iPad. But I promise you, they're saying all the stats are out. Writing on paper is much more effective. So it's asking you for, like, the actual side of it, not the angle? Well, oh, okay. So listen, that's a very good question. Believe it or not, watch. This is something I should have said. Look up here on the board real quick, guys. I want to try something kind of interesting here. Look, please. If I told you this was 37 degrees, mm -hmm. come on, look up so you can hear what I'm saying. I know it's kind of obvious, some not so obvious to others. That just measures the angle, correct? Okay. Now, listen to what I'm saying, just so you understand me. If I make that longer, does that change the angle? No. I understand what I'm saying. So when they're asking for the measure, what I'm trying to tell you is this arc, is it the same as this arc right here? Yes. Is the measure the same? Yes. Is the length the same? No. That's where I need you to understand. Hear me out. The measure is the same. The length is different. Does everybody agree with that? Yes. Right? So when you're measuring an angle, it doesn't matter how big the angle is. It's still the same measure. It's the length of the arc that is changing. The bigger the angle, the larger the arc. Does that help? Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All right, so when someone asks you if this, let's just say, for example, is 90 degrees, this is also what? 90 degrees. Oh. Because you're measuring, right? You're measuring, what I'm trying to tell you is you're measuring from here to here as an angle, not as a length. Oh, so it's just like getting... Bigger. Yeah, yeah. So, so so if I said, what's this measure, that would be what? 90. 90. Oh, okay. This measure is what? 90. 90. They're all 90. This length is what I was trying to tell you, is different than this length, yeah. which is different than this length. That's what I'm hoping you're hearing me. Yeah. The length and the measure, very annoying. Measure means angle. Length means distance. When somebody says a length, you've got to have a feet or foot or a yard or a meter, something in those units. They're asking for measure. That's a degree measure. Okay. All right, good job. Finish up, please. <clears throat>